hi guys you're welcome back to my youtube channel today i'm going to be showing you a lovely recipe soya beans how to prepare tough it's also known as chunks or you can say soya beans meat i have here soya beans i'm going to be soaking these soya beans inside the water and allow it to stay overnight so i'm going to be pouring it inside this bowl of water i'll also add water so that it can cover the soya beans so i'm going to be allowing this for to stay overnight then after i'll be blending it you can see that i've already picked out the dead ones and the stones inside them you can see how it is you don't have to soak all this because it could spoil your food so this is what will make the soya beans not good when you prepare it so i'm going to be preparing this we all know that in Chinese it is called tof and in Nigeria we know it as chunks. This food is mostly prepared for vegetarians. They use it mostly for their food. You know that vegetarian, they don't eat meat, they don't eat fish and they don't eat anything that has to do with blood. So this is purely proteinous in the body, very very nutritious. So keep watching this video and enjoy. Also learn how to prepare your tof. It's going to be a fun video. So for the chunks, here is the soya beans that was soaked. It's now time for me to wash it out so that I can go and grind them. So after grinding it, I'll come and then wash it out, saving out the shafts away then the water of the soya beans is what i'll use in preparing my soya beans meat known as chunks it is also known as tof Here is the soya beans that I'm going to be using to make the chunks. I just finished grinding this. I'm going to be washing this out. Then the water that is washed out is what I'm going to be boiling. As I'm boiling it, I'll add a little bit of alum or I can also use the overnight water of Akamu, the water you sieve out from Akamu. Preferable for me, I'm going to be using the water I sieved out from Akamu in preparing these chunks. So I'm going to be washing this now. So here for the tough, I told you, the vegetarian meat known as chunks, I'm going to be using a light chiffon. So I'm going to be pouring this inside. Ah, 
how to get this long spoon so that I can stay very well. Now I'm going to be picking. You can see the soya milk itself, the water pumps up like this. So this liquid is what I'm going to be boiling. I have to wash this very well. After sieving it, the liquid is what I'm going to be boiling. And this is a different thing from soya milk because when the water is boiling, when it's boiling very well, I'll be adding in my own choice and my use the Akamu overnight water or I might use my alum, depending on what you want to watch. So I would like you to really watch this video and also learn the procedures of preparing your chunks, which is known as ve vegetarian owned food. off I have to squeeze this out you can also do the same for your soya milk So I'm going to be washing this this way till I finish washing the whole of this bucket. I'm going to be turning this out and wash the new one. So I've just finished turning the last milk. You can see the milk itself. The liquid from the soya beans that was extracted and here is the shaft So here is the shaft of the soya beans. Awesome. So I'm through with watching the soya beans. So here for the tough, the vegetarian chunks. I'll be boiling this when it's boiling very well I'll then add my overnight akamu water or you can also put your alum if you wish but for me I'm going to be putting the water of akamu so that it will congeal it you're going to see it if you love this video thumbs up and subscribe to my youtube channel like and also share this video with your friends and families enjoy watching this video now the chunks is almost ready you can see the separation of the water as the water is boiling see the chunks being separated and water on its own so I'm going to be turning this into the chiffon clothes and now sieve out the water and only the chunks will be remaining
can see the separation on its own this is after adding the cup of akam water that is the akamo that was prepared and the water you change every morning that morning water is what you add to congeal this thing and it will now make the chunks congeal you can see it very well look at the separation between the water and the chunks so here look at the separation of the chunks and the water i'm now going to be turning this into this chiffon cloth this so that I can press it with either a big spoon or a big wood. I'm going to be pressing this so that the water can drain out very well. So here I have to use this wheel, a heavy weight thing to press the chunks. Now it's daybreak and I'm going to be removing this. I also have to use a poly bag to cover the the cloth I was using to shape that it. You can see how it is. See how it comes out now. The water has drained off and now the main chunks itself is what is here. It's also known as awara or you can also call it tough. So now I'm going to be slicing this. I'm going to be slicing them. But here the water is not too dry, so I'll still allow this to dry very well before doing that. So I'll still be pressing it back because it's not too dry. You can see using this poly bag to cover it makes it not dirty before pressing it. it back so you have to press it very well for the water to drain very 
and become dry. So coming back, it's now time to remove the chunks. I have to pull off this first. Pull off the second one. Remove the pulley bag by using covering it. And now you can see the shape of this. So I'm going I'm going to be losing this. I'm going to be showing you how to prepare your vegetarian meal. This is chunks already prepared. Okay. So if you love this video, thumbs up and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Like and also share this video with your friends and families. We're going to see how in my other video I'm going to be preparing food without meat, fish or any seafood. I'm going to be preparing my meals with pure vegetables and what I'm going to be doing even with soya beans. So this is the chunks. Normally it's called awara for people that understand it as awara. And for those that understand understands it as stuff, it's called chunks. So I'm using this Cutting them to be where I want it. See how it comes out. This is a very rich meal. Your soya beans is what gives you this. be cutting this into cubes form into cubes to preserve this and you want it to last for so long let's say three weeks to one month you can fry them like this but if it's consumable within one week or two weeks you have to maybe parboil this season it with what you want to season it with your salt your maggi before frying it like this because it's it gives your food another taste and more so you know that this and soya beans is very nutritious to the body it contains a lot of nutrients you 
can always get this even in a store where it is prepared and parceled so for those that do not have the money to get it with the price that is given in the market you can always prepare yours it's very easy very interesting meal very interesting meal I hope you're enjoying this video don't always fail to subscribe to my youtube channel like and also share my videos with your friends and families for my own i am going to be seasoning this with fresh pepper and maggi i'll also add salt and when it's seasoned before I'll be frying mine. After this, this is what I'm going to be using to prepare vegetarian soup and also guys as just as you're watching this I also want like you to also watch my next video which is going to be a competition a, a food cooking competition because you're going to be preparing varieties of food which you're going to be making by yourself all the vegetables is going to be made by it. and I'm going to be preparing that food without fish or meat so i also like you to watch that my video and learn how to prepare your meals even when you don't have money for fish or meat you can always cook your meal at home and enjoy your meal can say that no one is broken because the soluble solutions I used was perfect and it has to hold the body very well it has congealed it and make it very very good Slicing them and I'm detaching them so that they don't stick to each other because I'm going to be pouring them inside the pot and steam them before frying them. So I don't want them to stick to each other. Now I'm going to be boiling this. just added my maggi and salt now we're adding little water and i'll be boiling this i like to steam very well you can see how it is when it's steaming you see that the tough on its own will get swollen Now I've just finished steaming the chunks. I'm going to be frying them. 
So I'll be turning this off from the pots. Then place my pots on the fire. And pour granite oil to fry the chunks. So I'll now be adding granite oil inside the pots to fry the chunks. So when you steam it, you see how it's swollen up. This is how it looks. So I'm going to be frying this now. So you can see the top frying. Huh? Going to be removing the top. This is how it looks. It looks like piece of meat. This is also known as chunks, or if you know it as awara. Any of the above. So here is the top. This is how it looks. I told you this is vegetarian meals. This is how to prepare your chunks. Normally I call it chunks. But in a Chinese language it's called to. Normally, mostly English language. I think that's the name it's called. But all the same, if you are not aware of chunks and tough, this is how to prepare your awara. See you guys in my next video. Bye.